practice compared to how they're played out in theory. So it gives you a nice overview and then shows you how they're played out in game in a top level game. So that's the idea here. Let's hop into the Cuban civilization. So the Cumans are actually one of the more interesting civilizations to talk about. Um, they're one of the new ones with Definitive Edition that came out, one of the four new ones. And uh, they have a lot of unique things going for them. So let's go ahead and jump into the tech tree and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, if you guys don't know already. So the Cumans is, cap is um, categorized as a cavalry civilization. However, they have a, you know, a few other options as well to go for, but cavalry is their main thing. Um, so they get additional town centers can be or additional town center just one can be built in the feudal age this is one of their bonuses so that means every save in the game can only have one town center in feudal age if you lose it you can rebuild it but you can't make more however the cumans can actually make a second one so you can go up to two tcs in the feudal age the second thing is that the siege workshop and the battering ram is available in the feudal age and also the cap ram upgrades available in castle age Siege Workshop is usually a castle age building. So now we have the Siege Workshop and the Second Town Center both available to us in the Feudal Age. And we also are able to make ramps, so cap ramps. Uh, and then cap ramps obviously available in castle age as well. So you're kind of getting some siege earlier than normal. Could be pretty interesting. Uh, cavalry 5% faster each age. So this is movement speed. Cavalry move 5% faster each age. Uh, however, you are missing husbandry. So uh, basically in, in Feudal Age, your, ca your scout cavalry move 5% faster than normal. Uh, in Castle Age, you have basically free husbandry because your cavalry moves 10% faster and you don't have a husbandry available to you. And then in Imperial Age, you have 15% faster. So it's faster than 5% faster than a normal save with husbandry. So it's quite a nice bonus. One of the, one of the stronger ones uh, for their units here. Uh, the unique unit is very strong. It's the Kipchuk. We'll take a look at him after. Just real quick, think of it like a, a chicken new on a horse, basically. Um, unique texts are Step Husbandry in the Castle Age, giving their Light Cavalry and Step Lancers and Cavalry Archers 50% faster training. So it would be really good to spam those Hussars in the late game. Cavalry Archers are a bit obscure choice with them, and I'll tell you why later. But if you are making them, you also get that benefit. And then Cuban Mercenaries, uh, team members can create 10 free elite Kipchaks in the castle. I don't know how useful this is. We haven't really been testing them too much in team games. Uh, it's obviously pretty useless in 1v1 because the cost of this is more expensive than 10 Kipchaks. So, um, you know, it's not, maybe not the best. However, it's definitely an interesting tech um, uh, for, for team games. The team bonus, and this is very strong, especially in this wall meta that we're in, is that Palisade walls have plus 50% HP. So, let me right off the bat tell you that Cumans are probably a sieve that wants to be playing a little bit defensive and a little bit weird. In the sense that they can actually go for 2 TCs with defending with higher HP walls. And then they can have the faster scout cavalry that they start with to be able to maneuver on the map and scout what your opponent is doing a little bit faster. And they can even easily go into some uh, Kipchucks or Knights in Castle Age after 2 TC boom. That's the, you know, just off this, the, the idea I'm, I'm getting. Let's continue on forward here. Uh, so the archer range is pretty eh, pretty meh, like they don't have arbalest, they don't have hand cannons, they have heavy cam archer with parking tactics and thumb ring, but the problem is they're missing bracer. So in castle age you're fine, and in pure age you're very heavily lacking in the archer range. Their barracks is pretty solid though, they get halberdier and champion, which is not too bad. Uh, you no, know, they're stable, very solid actually, paladin, elite step lancer, and hissar, so full stable. Uh, actually they get camel, but they don't get heavy camel uh, upgrade, it's the only save in the game that has that, pretty unique. Um, but they have a pretty packed stable, so not full, um, and they also get the extra movement speed, which is quite nice. The siege is pretty strong. They are missing siege engineers, but they do have siege ram, siege onager, uh, and well, obviously missing bomber cannon and heavy scorpion is not ideal. But uh, having these two is, is pretty nice. And then in the back, in the blacksmith, they're only missing bracer, so they have a fully upgraded barracks and fully upgraded stable, uh, just missing the bracer, which is a pretty big hit. Uh, however, as you'll see later, kip checks are actually still pretty good, even without the bracer. Uh, their, their navy is nothing too spectacular actually it's pretty uh it's pretty weak it's not that strong at all um like they have galleon and fast fire ship but they're missing uh, all the important text and they're missing bracers so their galleon is not that special uh and then for uh so for water maps they're not great and then for the university cubans are pretty stupid not gonna lie i mean they don't they kind of like high school dropouts um no no siege engineers uh no bomber tower no fortified wall uh, no architecture and no guard tower even. This is a big deal. Missing guard tower makes it very hard to defend against those monks and siege pushes in castle age. And that's probably one of the biggest weaknesses to going to DC boom in the feudal age. Is getting hit by a fast monk siege push in high level. Um, so again, missing so much uh, available here. They don't have... Oh, forgot to mention. They don't even have stone walls. So another sieve along with goth missing stone walls. But you do have the 50% higher HP palisade, which is not too bad. Uh, okay, so the unique unit, probably the most interesting part about Cubans here, or definitely the most interesting unit, I should say, uh, is the Kipchak. So, 
It's a Chukunu on a horse. It costs 60 wood and 35 gold. So pretty low gold cost. Very important to note that. So it's a good late game unit based on gold. And the upgrade doesn't even cost gold to go into. So 1100 food and 1000 wood uh, for the elite upgrade. So you're saving a lot of gold going for this unit long term. It's not that expensive. Uh, and it's very fast moving. Moves faster even with the cavalry bonus. Counts as that. Uh, and it has a very strong DPS with a lot of arrows. So it even does well versus siege ramps, which is very very strong for cow archers to do well against siege ramps and siege onagers so kip check for that reason very strong the worst part about it is the fact that it's low range so it has only six range total missing bracer and imperial age pretty weak versus a lot of other archer units but versus um cavalry or siege or infantry it does really well so kip check definitely a uh, solid uh, utility for for the cumin game uh the monks got nerfed recently the lost redemption so they're pretty subpar um you you not really use them that much um, besides the castle age and then their eco in the back is nothing too special they have guilds which is important and all the eco upgrades missing stone shaft mining so that was a lot of information feel free to go back in the video and, and catch uh you know some of the things you might have missed but just to give you an overview of what the sieve is actually good at so mainly cavalry sieve with the kipchak or the cavalry archer followed up with some hussar uh maybe some halberdier if needed is a pretty solid composition followed up with some siege ramp or trebs uh, as your siege units for the um uh you know for the composition to round off the composition that's an imp however the interesting part of what cumans comes in the early game access to siege workshop and an extra town center in feudal age is probably you know there's two things that you probably want to be playing with every game either one or the other or both um and so in the game that i play i'm probably going to try to get maps where i can actually go ahead and use those kind of 2tc uh, advantage and get that feudal boom going so right off the bat uh, I'm thinking, um, we'll ban Baltic because it's a water map. Sorry, ban. Ban Four Lakes because it's a water map. And we'll probably... The rest are... Cubans are actually good at the rest. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's just pretty fine. Arena, they're a bit shaky because they might die to some Monk Siege pushes. But I'll still keep it open. And then Arabia, I'll put as my preferred map. So hopefully we'll get this one available. Let's just hop into the game now. And I'll do a Q&A with Twitch chat to answer all of your Cuban-related questions. Cuban-related questions. So you guys can enjoy both here and on youtube how many builds should build the second town center usually around six or seven you need a lot on it to get it done fast is 2tc boom viable on arabia yes as i'll show you it is very much viable on arabia uh, let me get some of these questions a lot of questions coming in here uh when is feudal age the best moment to go for the second tc oh when in feudal age usually right away however you could delay it and open scouts first as a strategy it's not not too bad either what unit composition would you prefer for feudal push? Rams plus stat bouncers? Well, feudal push stat bouncers not available, so rams plus scouts or rams plus archers. I would prefer rams plus archers in feudal age. Uh, Kipchak versus Mangadai who would win. Mangadai is overall better because they uh, they you know have bracer. However, the cumin economy with the two TC can make you get into Kipchaks faster than the Mongols can get into Mangadai. That's why Kipchak could be better. All right, yeah, let's not do the random sieve option. Yeah, so do Italians counter Cumans? I would say Italians can do okay versus Cumans, but Cumans still have good uh, good options versus the Italians. Um, so Italians do have a really nice time against them, but the 2TC is always dangerous. Uh, what things are Cumans good against? Primarily cavalry sieves or, um, you know, or, or infantry siege sieves. They, they do really well against those guys. They can play well against a lot of sieves, though, because they have just great cavalry across the board. Is it possible to build early rams and early TC, or is the wood just too unrealistic? Usually you have to pick between going for rams or going for the second TC. You usually can't do both at once. You can do like TC first, then five minutes later add rams, but you can't do both at the same time. Because remember, you need a blacksmith to make the, second, uh, the siege workshop in Feudal Age. Uh, when building second TC in Castle, is it still more time expensive? No, it's not. Only in Feudal Age is it more time expensive. Um... What do you think of slinging Cubans, for example, with Vikings in 2v2 Arabia and make them go for a fast castle with two TCs? That's a pretty strong strategy, yeah. That would be good. They can go step lances or knights after that. Is Cuban on the flank viable? Much better on the pocket. Terrible on the flank, to be honest. Um, how do Kipchaks do against Cav Archers? Usually pretty well. Usually pretty well. Because uh, you have more mobility, because you move faster. Um, is it possible to go full feudal and stop opponent from going castle? Yes, it is possible. Uh, definitely. Um, however, it does have its risks. Do you have to go 2TC boom with Cumans? No, you don't. You can even go, like, scout opening into, into Kipchaks. You can do uh, archers in Feudal Age. There's nothing wrong with them it, at all. You can do archers and rams. You can go, uh, you know, wall up fake that you're doing 2TC boom, then go fast castle and, you know, into some light cab or knights. Very, very varied kind of options you have with the Civ. Um, when do you go 2TC boom in Feudal when, and when scouts? Um, you have to decide that on your own. 
There's a lot of questions coming in. I'm trying to get to as many as you can. Um, how fast do you need to go castle age? Um, how fast do you need to go fast castle? Um, it depends on the situation, honestly. If you're doing 2 DC boom, you can probably get the castle age 20, 20 or 2 minutes. It's no problem. Um, how do you punish the feudal boom? Good question. To punish the feudal boom, the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to go for a fast castle and go for some sort of siege push. Fast castle pike siege or fast castle monk siege, something like that, to really take out the town center. Uh, monk mangonel or, or halb mangonel, pike mangonel. Uh, how many should you have on wood if going for 19 pop? Uh, two on wood to start. So six food, two to, two to wood if you want to do 19 pop. How viable is scouts into step lancers? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's 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 a solid strategy. At top level, step like scouts and step lancers dies to crossbows. So that dies to scouts into crossbow to drush expo. So it's not too not too good. But at lower levels, you can definitely get away with that. Worst matchup slash comp cumans deal with. Um, the hardest matchup that cumans can deal with. Um, I would say it's like ar like archersives, like some sort of halb halb longbows or halb arbalest with some bomber cannons will be really tricky, uh, really hard to deal with if you're Cubans. I mean, you can go like heavy cav, maybe siege onager, but it's still tricky. What pop do you go up on for an immediate two TC? Twenty pop, cryptic sigh, and I'm actually putting a build litter on Discord within the next week or so, uh, probably within the next few days that showcases the twenty pop. Cumin 2TC boom into Kipchak uh, gameplay. So I have that builder coming to the Discord soon for subs to the stream. Is that a specific builder to get the second TC? Yes, uh, once again, it's coming uh, to the stream. How to best feudal boom and arena without giving up on relics? You can make scouts in late feudal age if you want to contest the relics. How can we use the second TC as TC drop an enemy? Just put it forward, I guess. You know, you can open scouts and then go forward once you get map control. Uh, yeah, chat's moving really fast here. Uh, how to defend versus four castle push from opponents? Uh, best way to do is just to give him some space. You have more villagers if he's going to forward castle push you, and then try to make your way up to castle age and get your own defensive castle. That's the best way to do against that. Also, if you can wall and prevent him from getting a forward castle on you, like continue walling, buy yourself time, it's obviously way better. How viable is it to go full feudal age and try to stop opponent to go castle? I would say it's if your opponent is trying to go fast castle, it's a pretty viable strategy because you can add... Uh, you know, rams, fast moving scouts, and archers uh, with a second TC behind it. So you can play full feudal versus an early castle opponent easily with humans. What do you think about FC and build 2TC on the way up? Um, it's not bad, but it doesn't give you that much of an advantage. It's not that great. It's, like, it's not that special. Should there be another unique tech replacing human mercenaries since it doesn't do anything, especially in 1v1? So it doesn't do much, especially in 1v1? I'm not sure. Maybe. That tech is pretty whatever, though, yeah. How much of an eco advantage does feudal TC give compared to a fast castle opponent? It's if if you if your opponent goes fast castle boom with a generic sieve, let's say like um, I don't know what doesn't have an eco bonus these days. <laughs> let's say he goes fast castle boom with something like Saracens without using a market. Um, if you do two TC boom with humans and get the castle, you'll have a significantly better economy. You might be up like a few vills, and then you can go four TC behind it as well. So booming with humans is better than booming with a generic sieve for sure. Um, What's if you fear on Arabia's Cumans? Probably Britons can be really hard to deal with because they have a lot of good archer options and their late game is really obnoxious as well because you're, if you're missing Bracer, it's kind of hard to deal with uh, Britons sometimes. However, uh, Britons uh, in late game, Cumans can deal with them because they have Siege Ram. Siege Ram, Hassar, and, and Kipchak is actually not too bad. Um, Cumans with Goth matchup? Cumans should win. Kipchak champion will, will dominate Goths for sure, so Cumans should definitely win that. Um... Are Cubans still elite af even after the nerf? Um, they're not the best sieve in the game. They got nerfed a lot since DE came out. However, they're still really strong. And I actually think they're a, a, a sieve that hasn't been fully discovered yet. Uh, just simply because um, there's so many unique options with them that it's a little bit unclear what the absolute meta is with them. And so it leaves a lot of room open for, uh, for different kind of uh, plays and compositions. I hear, what's the difference between Town Bell, Ungarrison, and Back to Work? That's not a human question, so how are you moving on? Um, in what distance you want to shoot Micro the Kipchaks? Um, any distance, as long as you're in range, is fine. No, no problem there. Will you ever upload a 2 t boom and feudal build order for humans? It won't, be, it won't be uploaded to the YouTube. It's just going to be in the Discord. How do you feel about humans? Cleo, I think that the humans are... Um, like I said, a little bit undiscovered yet, but have a ton of potential. So I think if played properly, have a lot of potential. The Kipchaks are really strong, 2 TC Boom is really strong, and the Ram Push can be deadly if, if you catch your opponent off guard as well. Hmm. What time do you shoot to push Kipchak? Um, 
What do you mean shoot to push? Uh, I'm assuming you mean like microing them? You want to just, they have no fire delay, so they're actually really easy to micro in that regard. Uh, that's something I forgot to mention about the, the, the Cuban Kipchuk, is that they have very little delay, so microing them is very smooth. All right, we got two more questions. Um, do you like Cubans more on open maps or closed maps? I think they're good on both. Um, probably slightly better on closed maps. Yeah, probably slightly better on closed maps, but they're good on both, honestly. What's the situation to use step lancers if you want to raid in the cast stage or snipe siege? They're really good. Um, that's when you'd go for step lancers overnight. Raiding and siege. Is TC douching an option? It's not bad, but it's a bit more of a meme, -y, meme -y strategy. All right. Sorry about the, the long queue here, but we're finally getting into the game. So let's uh, focus up. It's going to be purely educational commentary. The chat's going down, guys. And hopefully you guys are enjoying on Twitch and on YouTube. Let's hop right into this one. I am ready. Your second TC has to be on wood, by the way. Humans versus Saracens. Okay. This is an interesting matchup, and I'll tell you why as we get into the game. Uh, because Saracen Expo lets them break through buildings much faster than regular Expo. So, maybe 2TC Booming versus Saracens is going to be pretty pretty hard to, to pull off. So, I might be a little bit careful about that. And for that reason, I might just open Scouts. I might just open Scouts. Also, Saracens can have a really deadly... Um, they can have a really deadly um, uh, monk, monk Siege push as well in Castle Age with the, with the market getting a fast castle. So maybe 2TC Boom against Saracens is not the best idea, honestly. So I, I might just play with some scouts and play with some other uh, uh, with some other uh, utilities and then try to get the Kipchaks in late game pretty much or in Castle Age. That's going to be my plan, I would say. You don't always have to use the second town center. And that's one thing I can't stress enough with the Cubans that sure they have that really powerful bonus, but you don't always have to use it. Sometimes... Being, uh, you know, being unpredictable with some fast scouts can be a strong strategy. Alright, so I might even lure a deer here, actually. Uh, let's scout with my sheep. Always make sure to scout with sheep if you can. If you're, if it's still hard for you, then, uh, then maybe try with one to start, or just don't bother with it at first. But it's definitely uh, worth doing uh, if you want to get you know, better with, with the scouting. Uh, that sheep, that deer is being annoying. Let's just go scout. Let's not bother with the deer. Continue my scouting with a sheep here. Perfect. Oh, sorry about that. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, getting there. I have a massive wood line here, but my gold is kind of on the front. Actually, this wood line is really awkward. We'll, we'll see how it looks, how it's looking like, but it looks like it's just a, just so big for no reason. We'll see. There's also a cliff near it as well. Might be really easy to wall with that wood line. Which is a, a good thing for me, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go for my boar. Excuse the lag spikes right now. The new patch just has a lot of lag spikes with uh, like those things that you just saw right there. It's not really our fault. It's just kind of what the game is, uh, is at the moment. Hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys. Have to, uh, have to keep in mind that some people will probably be watching this like a couple months down where this patch is hopefully fixed. And be wondering why it's lagging. Alright, so yeah, the plan is probably just to go for some scouts. And the reason is, just I, I want to confirm this, front gold, front wood, if I get pressured with crossbows, I'm gonna die if I try to do 2TC boom. I cannot do 2TC boom here, there's no way I'll get away with it. So, we're gonna play standard, 20 pop scouts, and although scouts is maybe not the best opening these days, if he thinks I'm gonna do 2TC boom, his guard will be lowered. And when his guard is lowered, the fast Cuban scouts are striking hard. So that's gonna be the plan for me. Let's see how I, how I can uh, pull it off. And by the way, there's nothing that says I can't add a second TC halfway through Feudal as well. I can always uh, go into um, a 2 TC boom after my scout rush. So I do have a lot of options with the Civ, uh, even if I don't just jump straight into the 2 TC. So, find my opponent, bring in that second boar. Pretty standard 20 pop scout build for me. Nothing too, uh, too crazy here. I would have loved to have a, a deer, but it wasn't really a possibility. Okay. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, you know, likely going to be a 20 pop scout build for me. I'm not sure what he's going to go for here. Uh, just looking around his map currently. Yeah, let's do that. Looks like he's luring deer with that scout. Only reason to be near his town center here, or one of the only reasons. He's chasing me. Ooh, Daniel with the big plays. Not quite, not quite. I respect the effort, though. I, I do respect the effort. I will say that. Alright, gold's out here. How's his map? I want to see how easy he can wall. If he walls from Dark Age, 
Uh, my, my scouts won't actually be able to do anything, so that's like the one danger in this meta where everyone's walling so early. Let's see. Okay. Alright, Feudal Age 20 pop, and we're gonna just carry out the scout build. I see his gold on the front, back stone, and uh, I need to find a place where I can hit now with the scout. So, Woodline is probably gonna be my best option. He actually. Oh, went for the wall, gotta be careful. <laughs> um, everyone's doing that now as well. I, I like it, I like it. Daniel's pretty good with the squeak walls as well. Um, but yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, so, yeah, you know, the thing I have to watch out for now, or thing I should look for rather, is first of all, what my opponent is doing. So, I'm gonna try and scout to see if he's got a barracks. And, uh, and, you know, what his plan is is going to be. It looks like he's just walling up here. And where I can hit with my scouts, if I do go for the scouts. If he walls up, maybe I just go second TC straight away. No, let's open scouts. I don't think he's going to be fully walled. Let's open scouts. Well, I don't want to show him my barracks, though. I do not want to show him my barracks. That feel like I can kill in Feudal Age. That feel like I can kill in Feudal Age. Let's wait for her. Again, I don't want to show him my barracks. Alright, hopefully he won't see it now. Because I'm trying to hide it. I'm trying to make him think I'm, I'm booming on 2TC. Alright, that villa's still there, which is nice. Perfect. I need to pounce as soon as I get the Feudal Age. Right now. Perfect. So a bit late with the barracks, but again, I, just because I didn't, didn't want to show it to him. And I'm just doing a standard scout opening here. He tries to wall on the villa, I have to be pretty ready. Got him. Alright. Stable coming. Continuing the build here. To fill that wood line. And now, I should probably make a spearman to keep him open here. I don't want him to wall up. And he's going with two on gold. Seems like he wants to open men at arms. He's my second lumber camp, so you can probably assume, actually. And I'm not, uh, I'm not actually going for... Let's, let's defend with this guy. I'm not actually going for the second town center. Yeah, he probably knows I'm not doing 2TC because he did see the second lumber camp. I didn't consider that as a sign, but it is a sign. Quickly wall that off. Let's see if he's not walled off yet. And I want to attack now with my scouts because I want to keep him open. I don't want to give him a, you know, time to wall up. All right, that's how you want to play with scouts. You want to keep your opponent open. And uh, my scout's faster. I will catch you. Yeah, so he's just going to fight instead because he knows running away is futile. But he might actually win that fight. It's 50-50. And uh, he's going to wall up, but I'm not going to let him wall up. Never lucky, man. Never lucky. Who wins this? I think he wins it. Yeah. Oh. He, 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 he will win it. I'm hanging through the wall. I'm actually hacking. Oh, my God. Bill Gates. I hit him through the wall. What happens? Well, that's a tilter for him. So when your opponent outplays you and quick walls it, don't worry, just go straight through the wall. Straight that that's the lesson we learned right there. Okay. Alright, so that's the second villager. So we killed two villagers so far. Now I can actually start considering adding a second town center. Because why not? Let's, let's in fact let's do that. Let's wall up. And I'm gonna go with a second town center. And he went with the dots. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's what the game is. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Maybe that was ethically incorrect for me. What do you guys think? But maybe post a comment down below, Twitch chat, just give you a put it in chat right now. I can't really read it, but is that ethically incorrect? Should I have not killed that villager? Or screw it, screw ethics, screw morals. We take those three villagers. Hmm. Definitely uh, an interesting, interesting question here. So second TC is going down, um, and uh, and we'll be able to take some stone now because my my plan is to get the Kipchak in the in the in the castle age. Because I do think it's, a, it's probably one of Cuban's strongest options. So let's wall up here. And let's go for the second town center. I'm making it with four builds because my, my build is not based around the town center. If, it's my, if my build is based on the town center from the start of Feudal Age, I would probably drop it with like six or seven villagers. Okay. That guy's weak. I'm not making any more scouts. Because I know he's going to be fully walled, by the way. That's the reason I stopped making scouts. So I only made a couple. And looks like he's actually just going to go for a fast castle behind this one himself. It doesn't look like he's got any interest in actually, uh, in actually pressuring me further on in Feudal Age. 
Or at all, really, because he didn't do anything to pressure me. And we'll kill the scouts. Cool. I'd say I'm in a pretty good position at the moment. Definitely like my position. Can I get a blacksmith here? No. I don't want to get a blacksmith here. I'll, I'll get my blacksmith in the corner somewhere, I guess. I don't want to block my main goal to the blacksmith. And the good part about this build order that I've done... Oh! Oh, he's coming forward! Wait, hold the phone. He's going to come forward. Let's adapt. Always adapt. Scouting is important. Always adapt. He's going to come forward. I'll make more scouts now. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I, I might even mine some stone. If needed. So I'll mine some stone. In fact, actually, I shouldn't mine stone there. I should mine stone in my town center. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll mine stone in my town center, which is good. And he's got some spearmen here now. Those guys would be pretty tricky. Archers, spears. Okay. I do have higher HP walls, but this is still pretty scary. And that first tower comes down. Can I counter tower it? Is the question. Yes, I can. I do want to counter tower that just because I don't want to lose my wood line on the front. And I don't want to let him take out my stable. Two, two reasons why I want to counter that. Okay, and now we're going to go for uh, the armor. The armor is going to help us get good trades with the archers. Okay. And yeah, now, I have, now I'm getting a villager lead. Remember, guys. Getting a villager lead. They do have two town centers out already. Yes, I'm protecting my stable real quick. And he doesn't know if I've got one scout in there or like multiple. And I do, in fact, have multiple scouts available. So this is looking like a good game for me right off the bat. Um, second TC is down. Got a lot of stone gathering in. And uh, I'm playing with a, a lot of army and feudal age here. That tower I don't really care about. It's not really hitting me at all. I don't really want to fight near the spearmen though, so let's just run away. Let's go back here. Yeah, try to hit the archers a little bit. Bit of a lag spike. Okay, we'll just take out the tower and be on our way. Cool. Notice I have a lot of villagers here. 46 villagers. That's like probably six or seven ahead of him, that's for sure. Uh, and I'm probably going to prioritize wheelbarrow. And you know what? Let's prevent him from getting in there. And you know what? Fletching as well would be really good as well. So, Fletching as well, really good as well. I say as well way too often, I think. Okay. Hair of vocabulary. Not an English major. Wasting my time playing Age of Empires. Yeah, let's do some houses in the back now. So the cool part right now for me is that uh, is that I have the villager lead and I have the better units in Castle Age and more mobile. I shouldn't say better, but more mobile units in Castle Age with the Kip when they come out. Um, so better eco, better units coming out sooner. Sorry, more mobile. Seems like a pretty good deal. He's also wasting a lot of his time on the front. Um, not doing a whole lot as well. Just making some towers. I can maybe snipe that villager. Ooh, nice walls. And he actually fails them in the end, but I like the attempt once again. Okay, that one I'll, I'm going to let him get, actually. Yeah, I can't range it, so I'm going to let him get that one. Yeah. I'll let him get this one, and I'm just going to just fall back somewhere else. Let's get a market here. I'll just go scout the map with these guys. So my next step is just to go to Castle Age. I'm, I'm so far ahead at the moment. I can just go up. Uh, do I want to get another lumber camp here? I don't want this. Let's do another lumber camp here, maybe. Because this thing is only denying like part of the woodline, not the whole thing. I can still make some use of it. Okay, and now we'll just sell a little bit of stone, maybe click up a little bit. Oh, it looks like, I think he's up by the way. I think he used the market to click up because the prices are terrible. And he's playing as the Saracens. I will need a tower here by the way. Oh, he's in Castle Age. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got, this is a hard defense. This is not easy. I'm going to have to stay in Feudal Age. Sorry, I, I can't go up. False alarm, I can't go up here, I don't think. Actually, can I? Is it better to stay? Go up. Let's go up, let's go up. I'm gonna take the risk. I think I can do it. The, the risky part is that if I get pressured really hard before I get to Castle Age, that's the bad part. But if I'm able to get to Castle Age safely, which looks like I am, yeah? Now I have just to wait out the next two minutes. I'll be in a very good position. But let's see, can I weather out the storm? Or will these Saracen crossbows just dominate me? And again, it's okay if I take some damage. Let's get Town Watch. It's okay if I get some damage. It doesn't matter. I have a lot more bills than he does. So some damage is okay. As long as I don't like lose a Town Center 
Lose like 20 villagers, I'll be fine. Losing a few here and there is not, not the end of the world at all. Taking out my tower here. And he's got another tower. Town watch. Maybe letting me snipe some villagers here. Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta count the tower here. Okay, let's go on to this main. Oh wow, really nice play here. Really nice play from Danny Boy. We need a lot more stone now, mind you. And yeah, nice play. Not letting me get in there. We got a lot of stone because I need to get my castle and I'm wasting a lot of it. Well, not wasting, but using a lot of it on the, on these defensive towers that I've, I've had to place in there about my base. In come the mangonels. Oh god, this is going to be pretty difficult. You know what? You know what? I, I can't I can't go uh, Kipchucks right away. I'm going to go Knights because there's mangonels coming. Uh, there's a lot of crossbows on the field. I don't, I don't have the stone, simply. I don't have the stone to go for uh, Kipchucks. So let's, gonna, let's go for... Um, let's go for the Knights. My best option here, I think. How is as soon as you hit castles? That's what you want to see, typically. Very, very nice stuff. Do I go step lancers or knights? Go for a couple of knights. A couple of knights, then, then some step lancers would be nice. Okay, yeah, notice I still have the squirrel lead, even though I'm getting pressured, because I have he's all in here. He is all in. Let's try and snipe that villager. And I will have enough for a castle soon. Right now, soon. Okay. I'm going for a couple step lances and knights. Step lances are really good at sniping siege. I'm actually I have zero woodcutters, by the way. Uh, you know what we'll do? I'm going to delete my barracks and make a castle here. Just to regain that wood. going to use all my farmers as well, whatever. Pretty messy, but it's what it is. I need wood. Step Lancers coming in clutch. I just need to snipe the, the siege and I'm good to go. Snipe the siege, buy me time, and I'm good to go. There it is. There it is. Remember, he's all in. He's all in. All I need is time. This is really messy. Guys, sort it out. Sort it out. Okay. Pretty crazy game, but I do have the village lead. Keep that in mind. And I've now reclaimed my, uh, my wood. This is uh, a big step. Small step for Hera, big step for... How does that go again? I have enough for another castle. I have enough stone for another castle. So you know what? Let's get a second castle. And now it's time for the two castle Kipchak play. Oh, really fast conversion. The castle is just to reclaim my town center, basically. And I'm pretty decent now. Pretty decent position. Let's get to a bottom arrow. All right, cool. Let's go break into his base with these guys, and then I'll defend with Kipchaks from now on. Losing some gold access on the front. Where can I send these guys? So let's just go to the back here. Yeah, so I reclaim my wood pretty heavily now. Okay. Two castle Kipchak production now, and uh, and he doesn't really have an answer to that right now. Crossbows are okay, but uh, I should be able to snipe the siege very easily. And Meiko is still pretty reasonable, all things considered. I have a lot of villagers. Okay, let's get something else going. I don't have another gold here. That's, that's the big problem for me. Another gold. I do have this gold that I can use. Why not? Ooh, walling me in. Not quite gonna work out though. And we are in. And now the Kipchaks can be pretty strong. They're very easy to micro because they have no fire delay. Very little. I think it's none though. Okay, perfect. And GG's called. And the GG's called. Why is the GG called? Let's take a look. Let's analyze the game. 81 villagers for me. Even though I got pressured the whole game, I'm 81 vills. We'll see how much he's at, but he's at 2 TC only. And he got the. He was gonna get the 3rd TC up now, but he got the TCs up way later than I did. His economy is very weak, and he had everything forward. His pressure was good. His pressure was good. It wasn't bad. He pushed me off this wood line, pushed me off this wood line. But I had way too many fills, and now my units are so strong. 
very mobile uh, units. You don't need husbandry, so you save 100, uh, 100 food right off the bat. There's 150 food. I think you save 150 food, yeah. So you save 150 food and still get the benefits of fast, faster moving cavalry. Uh, and your units are just strong. Step Lancer is nice, and then Kipchak to follow it up with, you know, very, very strong civilization. And now I have enough stone to go for another castle. Like, I have so many villagers get it, getting me so much resources, so many resources that I can just easily defend. Sure, you don't have Guard Tower, but if any with scouts or cavalry units into a castle is a very strong uh, way to play the Civ after getting your 2TC boom going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's take a look at the statistics now and see exactly what happened during this game. Uh, more KD for me. Um, more economy, way more economy. Look at the food collected. And if you take a look at the bill counts, 81 to 57 villagers. Cumans is a dangerous sieve, guys. And I promise you, at you know, at lower levels, if you guys are new players, they won't punish you as much as Daniel did to me right here. They won't pressure you like this. So you have an even even easier time making use of the sieve. 1400 ELO, same story. Um, you're gonna have a good time going uh, going with this kind of uh, with this kind of strategy. And remember, don't limit yourself to one strategy. You have the cap rams available in Castle Age, the battering ram in Feudal Age. You also have the scout opening, which is pretty decent, and anything else you you, you can ask to ask for. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty significant uh, difference in villages here. And then this is the timeline. Remember, guys, in the YouTube, vote in the comments down below what if you guys want to see next week in the So You Want to Play series. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it so far, and hopefully. Uh, you guys will continue to enjoy it for the rest of the sibs. Take care, guys. Get some high YouTubes in the chat, Twitch. And I'll see you guys next time on the YouTube. Peace. YouTube does not pay enough for that kind of content.